is your gentle yoga class. So hopefully you have a nice mat to sit down on, maybe some water, maybe some yoga tools, like a block or a bolster, a blanket, anything, or a strap, anything that could help make your practice work best for you. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in, for doing one of our virtual classes. This is a really gentle yoga practice today, and always be really mindful about where you are right now at this time, doing whatever it is that is best for you, because yoga should feel good, and it is good. So even if you just sit on your mat and breathe and relax and do a little stretching, it's yoga, it's good. So thank you for getting on your mat. So come on down if you're not down already. Just have a nice, gentle, seated position. Just notice where you're at in your foundation and in your sit bones. Just rock yourself into place. And if you always cross your legs the same exact way, maybe today is the day that you change it up a little bit. Cross your legs the other way. All right, so being seated in a comfortable position, resting your arms, your hands, wherever it is that feels good at this time. And then just lengthening up through your spine taking your shoulders back and down, just balancing your head, neck, shoulders, down to the hips, and just feel free to start to close your eyes. Let your eyelids just touch down and be closed, just nice and easy. So I start a little bit of music, a little background music. So just settling in into your mat, into your body, into your thoughts, to your breath. So taking deep, full breaths in and out. Maybe this is the first time in your whole day that you've actually thought about your breath. Maybe moving into that ujjayi breath, that belly breath, long breaths, short breaths, soft breaths, whatever it is, just feels right, feels comfortable.
lift up. Take those shoulder blades together. Really open your chest. So if you've been sitting at a desk all day, you might find that your shoulders are really tight, your neck, any of those things. It's just a good chance to let them breathe. Let them release. Arms come down. Now take one arm up and over and open up that side body. And now lift and spiral your heart up just a little bit more. And then reach up and let's go to the other side. Hand comes down. Reach up, find length, and then take it down a little bit more. Draw that armpit, that chest up, gaze up, and then reach down. Now inhale, both arms up to the sky, and on an exhalation, hold that tall spine. Reach one arm forward, one arm back, and look behind you, and then lift up. Nice gentle turn, and press down, go the other way. That one more time. Inhale, full body reach. Exhale, press down, gentle twist. One more time, big reach up. Exhale, take it down. And then take it front and center. Take your hands to heart. And then slowly move the fingers forward. Gentle rotation into the wrist. Set yourself up nice and tall. Now just notice you want your feet out a little further away or a little closer. There's no right or wrong answer there. It's just listening in to where your hips, where your back, where your body wants to be. And if that's not comfortable, just go back to that crisscross angle position. Now take your hands and your thumbs and just gently massage through the arches of the feet, into the balls of the feet, and then each and every toe and then hold on to those feet. Lift yourself up, nice and tall. Inhale, and then exhale, take it forward. Try to hold on to that tall spine if you can, and let the head just melt down and release the back of the neck. Keep breathing into that back body. Let the legs be heavy as the hips start to open. And then slowly bring it up. And then take a big shoulder roll. And we're going to flip around to a tabletop position. So just go slow and easy. Your hips might be a little tight after being in that seated position a little bit. So spreading your hands open nice and wide. Your shoulders over those wrists, your knees and your hips. Now take your legs, look back, and make sure that you have two parallel lines with your lower leg. Let's do some cat and cow on the spine. Inhale. Gaze up, lift up, chest shines forward, exhale, belly up and in, round off that back, stretch through that backside body, and keep that inhalation, gentle cow pose, exhalation, up into cat, and then flatten the back, reach the crown forward, the tail back, now move those hips, the shoulders, the rib cage, side to side, and then bring it back to that flat back. Take one leg, extend it back. Now take the hips and square them off, but you probably lifted your hip up a little bit. Set the hips square. Inhale, exhale, pull that knee into the chest, towards the chin, towards the nose. Now the inhalation, lengthen it out. And then the exhalation, bring it in. Inhale, exhale, knee 
equals in. Inhale out. Go 
Great back up on an inhale. Exhale, lower down. Or all the way down to the floor. Just settle into this stretch. Moving your arms into whatever position works best for you. Palm up, palm down. Extend it out front. Wrapping behind the back. Breathing into this twist. Breathing into the back of the shoulder. Now slowly reversing this. Press up. Lift up, extend up, and then bringing it back down. So recentering yourself, getting ready to go to the other side. Foundation. Inhale, arms. Sweeps up, extend up, gaze up. Exhale, we're just going to float it down just a little before you go right back up. Inhale, reach and extend. Wiggle those fingers. Move through the wrist joint. And now this one's going to go down. A little, or all the way down to the floor. Rest the shoulder, rest the head. Gently move the hips just a little bit if that feels good, if that increases the stretch to feel good. Arm can be up overhead or up around your back. Making sure this does not hurt your neck in any way, shape, or form. And then let's slowly reverse this. Press. Reach up and then come on down. All right, we're going to move into a downward facing dog, a little inversion. And if inversions aren't your thing, maybe you're just going to stay at tabletop or go back to puppy pose. So tuck your toes. Maybe take a moment to stretch your toes out. Foundation set, hands wide, all 10 knuckles into the mat. Now fire your core, the strength of your shoulders and your body as you take your hips high to the sky, heels start to work down towards your mat, knees are as bent as they need to be, so pedal out your heels, slowly one heel down as the other heel lifts, gaze is back between the feet, between the legs, shoulders relaxed, now lower down to the knees if you need to, or stay in downward facing dog for a couple more cycles of breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Now walk your feet up to your hands, to your wrists, and exhale into a fold. Once again, if this is too much to be upside down, lift your body up and out of it. Otherwise, inversions are so good for that blood flow. So moving through the neck, yes and no. Maybe adding a sway side to side, maybe holding elbow to elbow. Knees are as bent as they need to be. So for the, those of you out there, I know some of my people have really, really, really tight hamstrings. You have to have that good bent to the knee. So your spine can lengthen out. Now slowly, let's roll up. Set all four corners of your feet into the mat, lifting your arches. Now walk up through your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, taking your time. Let your arms just hang down. Pull up into your core and stacking up through your spine until you come all the way to the top. And just going through those shoulders, up, down, and back. So taking one elbow circle up around and then the other. And if your shoulders are a-okay with this, take a big full circle. Now stop with one arm down, one arm up. Reach down, extend up, be strong in those legs. Take that side body stretch. Keep reaching out past those fingertips. Inhale up, switch the arms. Other arm down, other arm up, and reach up and over. Making sure you're still grounded down to that opposite foot. Inhale up, and cactus, open those arms. Pull the shoulder blades together, gaze up. Shine your heart up and forward. Inhale, take those hands to heart. So holding right here, closing your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in and out. Now keeping your feet hip distance apart or big toes can come together. We're going to do a little toe balance here. So lifting off those heels, squeezing the legs together, the heels together. And if you are balanced and you're good to go, see if you can challenge yourself by gazing one direction, possibly the other, maybe up to the sky. You're like, I got this. Maybe 
close your eyes for a moment. See what happens there. Feel things start to really kick in for a balance. Now lower those heels. Take your hips down and back into that chair pose. Reaching arms, maybe straight out the front or up. Or if that's too much for your shoulders, you're just going to cross right here or take your hands to heart. So make sure your hips are reaching back. Chest stays forward, gaze is forward. Breathe full and deep. Now rising up, we're going to lift up off those heels. We're going to extend all the way up and then sweep the arms out, lower those heels, come all the way back down to chair pose. Now we're going to come up. This one's going to come up to tree pose. So slide that foot in, toe can be down, or foot can be right at the inside calf edge, or if you want to bring it all the way up to the inside edge of your inner thigh, where you're trying to draw that knee back, hips stay square, so you're grounding down, but lifting up nice and strong, nice and active in your whole body, but yet shoulders are relaxed. Maybe you're gonna start to bring your arms up, and maybe opening those branches, Extending long, breathing, and then slowly take it down. Shake out those legs for a moment, take those feet together, lower down into that chair pose, changing up that arm position if you want that extra challenge. Breathe, stay low, but chest is high. Thinking good thoughts, feeling those leg muscles kick in. Now this time, sweep the arms low. Sweep up and around, lift off those heels. Stretch up, balance, toe pose, and lower down. Tree pose on the other side. On the inside edge, please stay off that knee. You don't need to hurt that knee joint. So squaring off those hips, grounding, lifting, breathing. Find that still focal point. Adding the arm movement overhead, if that's available to you. Opening it up, shoulders relaxed. And come on down, beautiful. All right, so let's take a big step back onto our yoga mat. We're going into a high lunge, so feet Hip distance apart, lowering down, strong in that front leg. Knee stacked over ankle, hands can come right to heart. So maybe you're here today, or maybe you're down here. Making sure your hips are square and forward. Hands at heart. Now if you're really unstable and you're just working through your yoga practice, you always can have a chair close by to help you with your stability to be safe. Now hands can stay at heart or extend them up, shoulders down and back. Keeping strong in that back leg, body is lifted. Cactus open the arms, shine the heart, maybe gaze up a little bit and take those hands up. Now we're going to press off that back leg, come through and as that back leg lifts up, our arms extend back, or up to the side, or overhead, and then slowly bring that leg down. Beautiful balance, good strength. All right, other leg steps back, reach it back. So set it up, if you feel weevil wobbly right away, you might be on that balance beam. So take your stance, open a little bit wider, and then come on down, knee lined up over front ankle, lining up those hips, Hands possibly come to heart or you're on a chair. Are you staying right here today? Oh, tight hip flexor, maybe yes. Maybe you go overhead. Reach, shoulder blades down and back. Breathing, extending. Strong and tall, squeezing those inner thighs together. Strong foundation. Now practice those arms, elbows out. Shoulder blades pull together and down. Gaze up, baby back bend. Inhale up. Arms 
out to the side. Press off that back leg. Little bend, little press. Toe can be on the floor the whole time. Or you tip and extend. Warrior three airplane pose. Play with those arm positions. See what challenges you. And so you have good form, balance. Slowly come on down. Shake out those legs. All right, mouth pose. Set your foundation. Palm shine forward. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, palms come together. Come down, flat back through heart. Take your hands down to the mat. Take your right foot all the way back. Lower down to that knee. Cushion that knee if need be. Let those hips just shift and come forward. Reaching that, possibly that right hip forward a little bit. Left hip crease back. Now staying right here. Maybe your hands are all the way down. Maybe you're on blocks or maybe you're just on your fingertips. Maybe you lift that back knee off the floor as well. If your back knee is off, lower that back knee down. Now take your hips back to your heel. Front toes start to lift up. And you just gently fold over that front leg. Try to relax the head down. Breathing into that big hamstring stretch. Maybe you lift your back a little bit. Forward again. And in that back knee lift off, that is something that you want to do or keep it down. Right hand stays down. Maybe the left arm starts to go up, up, and up. And twisting, extending, reaching. And then taking that down. We are going to step that back foot up so we can go back to the other side. So however you get there, you get there, right? It's all up to you. Just don't whip through those transitions. See what best transition works for your body, but be gentle and slow. So you're stretching, you're letting your hips release forward. Hip flexor. Now if you're all seated a lot at your home office chair, you might be really, really tight right here, which also affects your back, so just to be aware of that. Maybe you start to lift off that back knee if that's something you want to do. Now your hip goes back to the heels. Just a little runner's lunge here, stretching the hamstrings, head releases, elbows release. Breathe into that hamstring. Whatever muscles are gripping, breathe into them. See if you can soften those rough edges there. And slowly come forward. So either just hanging right here. You can place that hand down. Knee can stay down. Knee can be up. You can add that twist. Reaching up. Gazing up. Extending up. And then slowly bringing that hand down. Now your front foot is going to go back. And you're going to find yourself in a full plank position. But you're saying, whoa, Heidi, I can't do that. You're going to come right here to your knees, or maybe tabletop, or maybe you take a moment in child's pose. But if you can, fight for a strong core, even if it's just for a moment. Maybe one leg at a time, you come up to plank. Shoulders are stacked over wrists. Strong hands on the floor, strong legs as your heels reach back. Your crown reaches forward. Now we're going to lower our bodies all the way down in that straight line to the mat. Little shift forward. I'm going to come to my knees. Elbows come in. And then you slowly take it all the way down. I'm going to shift myself back as I'm falling off my yoga mat. So your whole body is extended down your yoga mat. Toes reach back. Crown reaches forward. Arms out to the side. Place your finger pads down with a little tent in hands. Now lift one leg up and slowly bring it down. And then the other leg. And down. Just nice and easy using that backside body. It does not have to be very high to be effective. Reaching that leg out long. Now keep the feet pressed into the floor. Pull up into your core and open the arms and lift. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Hold right here, or maybe reach back, maybe a little bit higher lift, 
maybe out to the side, and exhale down. Let's do that combination again. Inhale, lift, hold that left. Reach back to the back thighs. Inhale, up wide. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, keep breathing. Keep extending. Bring it back. Out to the side. And exhale, take your hands in. Turn your head to the left. Relax that right temple into the mat. Let your legs relax. Think about your breath. Let your body release into the mat. Uh, inhale, readjust. Sit the legs back long again and strong. Arms out to the side. Inhale, lift up one more round for the backside body. Nice open chest. So we, of course, don't work our backsides often enough. In other words, a weak backside it makes a whole, your whole body weak. So we gotta really balance that out with strength, with stability, with flexibility. Now reach up, hold right here, or add that reach back, and then out to the side, and then exhale it down. Let's do two more like that. Inhale up. Remember, this does not have to go very high to be effective. And if something is just not feeling good in your shoulders when you do this, bring them in closer to your body. Let's go do one more. Inhale up, big squeeze to the back. And then out to the side, exhale, melt it down. Turn your head. Now rest the temple down onto the mat. Relax the shoulders, the hips, the back, the knees, the hands. Breathe into your backside body. Notice the good that you just did. All right, so we have to work our way up and out of this. So you're gonna tuck your hands in, tuck your toes. You're gonna to go to either um, all fours or downward facing dog or something in between, right? Listening in, doing what you can do with your body. Taking the moment, this is your last downward facing dog of this class. Hello, your feet. And lower down to the knees. It off to the side. All right, so let's do a little hip stretch here. We're gonna take a little 90-90. So this is something like a pigeon pose or something like that, but we're gonna work in different directions of this front leg. So as you come forward, try to square off your shoulders, work your body over. Maybe it starts just over the, over the thigh, over the knee. Watching at the hips where they need to be, letting the head release. Keep breathing into that hip. And then slowly walking it up. Now move your body so you're gonna go over your shin bone just a little bit more. And come over that shin. Let the head release, shoulders. Breathe into that hip, the back. Close by, you want to place your head on that or your hands or your wrists, 
your fists.
slowly roll into your back. Give that knee another nice hug here until you go to the other side. Other knee comes in, other leg extends out. And if that long leg is a little bit too much, just take that nice, comfortable bend, especially if that affects your back. The knee goes out to the side. And then slowly up and over, slow and easy. Always taking your time in those twists in your gentle yoga practice, arm up to the side, gaze up to the side. Hand can be on thigh, foot can be on leg, arms can tee out, you're choosing your option. You're inhaling and exhaling. Maybe a little sigh, that feels good. Just trying to notice little areas of tension that can start to creep back in. Let them go away. And slowly rolling yourself back. Taking those knees in to the chest. Giving them a nice hug. A little movement of a massage. Now take the soles of the feet together. Just let the knees fall open nice and wide in that butterfly position. Just readjusting yourself. Shoulders down. Hands can be on belly if that feels good for a little bit of belly breathing, or palms up and open onto the side. And if this is not comfortable, legs can extend out, or knees up. Just letting the legs be heavy, letting your thoughts be light. Through the face, through the neck and the shoulders. 
shoulders, throughout your body. Having this, this little moment of gratitude in your day. Three things you're grateful for. Yeah.